20 of the Go Through Techie Show. I'm your host, Isaac Swenson. Got a great show lined up for you. Um, but first off, I'd like to thank my sponsors, GoDaddy and eMusic. Um, if you help support them, you help you help support the show. So uh, go and check them out. Um, go to my website, www.thegototechie.com, and I got all my offers and promotional codes on there. All right, uh, today, first off, we're going to be talking about um, developing mobile applications. Now, with the, you know, the advent of the smartphone, you know, such as, you know, obviously the big one is the iPhone, the Google's G1, and now their new Nexus One, um, and a lot of other smartphones now, we have something called mobile applications. Basically, they're just little apps that run on mobile devices. Um, there's two main um, platforms that um, people can you can write an app for. Um, there's the iPhone and then there's Android. Those are the two major um, operating systems that, that, that those apps can run on. Um, so first off, we're going to be talking about um, how to develop apps for Android. Um, Android, uh, as you might know, is open source, it's very open, it's not controlled very much at all by Google. So, um, being that it's open source, um, it's completely free to develop. Um, you don't have to pay anything. Uh, you can sell your apps, make money, doesn't cost you anything. Um, also, in order, to in order to develop for Android, um, they have a a uh, website set up for specifically for Android development um, information. Uh, the webs the link is going to be the show note show notes. Um, it's but it's uh, developer.android.com. Um, but in order to develop for Android, you're going to have to learn Java. Um, basically, Java is a computer language. Um, it's fairly high level, and you're gonna. I mean, if you're gonna if you want to make a really good app, you're gonna have to learn Java. That's just kind of the way it goes. Um, also, there's different um, tools that you use to develop your applications. Um, Android, of course, has their own free um, software development kit or SDK. Um, also, a, uh, Java has their own development kit. Um, it's called. It's some um, by Sun makes that, and then um, then there's also an Eclipse. Um, Eclipse makes uh, some integrated development environment stuff. So those are some of the tools you will use to develop apps for Android. Um, being that it's um, you know kind of a you have to learn you have to learn Java and stuff like that. It's quite a advanced you know it's quite a long and you know, advanced process to write a mobile application. So unless you know you have a significant amount of time to you know to devote to you know learning Java, learning these development kits and stuff like that, um, it's quite you know difficult to develop for. Um, then the next um, there's Apple's mobile operating system. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about that, you can go to developer.apple.com. Um, but first off, uh, what you have to do is download the SDK. Um, it has everything you need in it to develop, um, but not deploy your applications. Um, like um, Android, you're going to have to learn a computer language. Um, with Apple, um, you're going to have to learn Objective-C. Everything for Mac is written in Objective C. Um, also, they also Apple also in, um, introduced um, something called Coco. Um, it's an abstraction API for the iPhone. Um, so you'll have to learn Objective C, and then Coco is going to be part of you know what you're going to have to learn. So once you download the SDK, which is free. Um, you know, you can start uh, writing your application. Um, that again, you know, you'll have to learn Objective C. It'll take a little while. Have to polish it, work out the bugs. Um, but once you get your application written, um, then you have to apply to the developer program. Now, the developer program is how you get your apps into the App Store. Um, 
The developer program has a membership cost, which is $99. Um, whatever, if you want to put an app in the App Store, you have to pay the membership fee. That's just the way it works, um, even if you don't plan to charge for that application. So if you're just making free apps, um, you still have to pay um, the developer's fee. Um, so then once your, uh, once your application is in the App Store, people can get it. Um, Apple takes, I think it's 30% of the sales and then you get 70% of the sales for the um, apps. So um, with the iPhone, you know, it's not free to develop. I mean, you can develop free, but in order to get it, you know, onto this, into the store, you have to pay a $99 membership fee. So, um, you know, obviously app, the iPhone has a much bigger, uh, you know, audience than Android does. But, you know, Android's free, so, you know, if you know Objective-C, uh, you definitely might want to check out the iPhone, or if you know Java, you might want to try Android. So that's just a basic overview of how to develop um, mobile applications. I could go into a lot more detail, and I'd get bored, and you'd probably get bored too, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but that about wraps up all that I got for the show. Again, if you have any questions, uh, questions about this feel free to email me and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, next week uh, what we're going to be talking about is external hard drives. Um, now maybe you don't know there's a lot of different things you need to take in consideration when getting external hard drives. Um, we'll be talking about that next week. I'll be uh, giving you a couple good deals uh, you can take a look at if you're in the market for a new external hard drive. Uh, so that about wraps up the show. If you have any tech questions, feel free to email me at go2techie at gmail.com. Um, you can follow me at uh, twitter.com slash iswenson. Um, I post all my episodes up on my Twitter feeds. Um, so if you want to stay connected that way, that works too. Um, you can also leave a text or a video response below this video if you're watching on YouTube. And also uh, make sure to um, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, that'd be really great. Um, it's really nice to know that my audience is alive and well. All right, that concludes episode 20 of the Go To Techie Show. I'm your host Isaac Swenson. Keep it sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out at Brooklyn, now I'm down in Tribeca, right next to the Nero, but I'll be hood forever, I'm the new Sinatra, and since I made it here, I can make it anywhere.